Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Alex Avila with Love University, and we're back. I'm an author, psychologist, and speaker. And every week we talk about how to love ourselves, others, and higher nature, how to improve our finances, career, health, relationships, and spirituality. We've been talking about my book, Guide Type, Four Ways to Find the Love of Your Life, based on personality type compatibility. How to identify that person that could be right for you in a long-term love relationship and have a great marriage or partnership with them. Today, we're going to be talking about a very unique personality style called the knowledge seeker that has intuition and thinking as their primary characteristics. This is the soulmate that does it with intuition and thinking. If you want a brainy, successful, and powerful kind of mate, then the knowledge seeker could be the one for you. But first, you need to find out two important things about them. First of all, are they intuitive? They're the kind of people that see the world through their imagination, creativity, and sense of what is possible. They like to talk about their dreams for the future and about improving things. They live for their ideas. They enjoy science, philosophy, politics, and anything else that can stimulate their imagination and desire to impact the world. The second thing you need to find out about them is, are they a thinker? A thinking person makes decisions based primarily on their logic and what they think is rational, logical, and true. If they need to say something that may hurt someone's feelings, they will probably say it, of course, in a tactful manner, because it's the right thing to say. Their goal is to cut through the BS and get to the real point. So let's say that this person you're interested in is a knowledge seeker. They have intuition and thinking highly developed. What's so wonderful about this individual, this knowledge seeker, that could be a great soulmate for you? Well, first of all, a knowledge seeker is a brainy, thought-provoking, and fascinating individual who marches to the beat of their own drum. They're creative, independent, and out-of-the-box thinkers. Their personal style can be very unique and intriguing, far different from anything you've ever seen before. This is a powerful person in their intellect and ability to come up with unique and world-shaking ideas. They may be a scientist, lawyer, professor, inventor, engineer, entrepreneur, or a leader in business and government. As your partner, they will get you to think stimulate your imagination, and help you solve problems you didn't even know you had. As a life mate, they're always engaging and interesting to be with, and you can enjoy their deliciously sarcastic sense of humor and ability to see the world from a surprisingly whimsical point of view. Also, they are great strategic thinkers, and they can help create a brilliant blueprint for your life together, mixing in the right amount of fun, growth, and accomplishment. Here are some other excellent qualities they possess. First of all, they make things happen. They are competitive and like to be successful in everything they do, whether it's career, finances, relationships, and health. They will go to great lengths to woo your love interest, and you will have a great time in the process. The knowledge seeker also promotes interesting experiences. They know a little bit about everything, and they enjoy expanding your intellectual horizons. They may treat you to an afternoon at an art museum, where they take you on a personal tour and explain things to you capped off by dinner at a trendy fusion restaurant that mirrors the art you just experienced. Also, with the knowledge seeker, you know where you stand in the relationship. They are direct and straightforward. If something is not working out between you two, they will tell you exactly what is wrong so it can be fixed. And finally, their sarcastic wit is brilliantly funny. You will laugh your head off as they verbally puncture the self-righteous, pompous, and weak-minded individuals of the world. Their sarcastic, comedic timing is impeccable. They can provide a darkly funny view of the world that you can thoroughly enjoy. So how do you know if a knowledge seeker is right for you? Well, most of the time, you want someone who's compatible with you or similar to your type. For example, if you're a knowledge seeker, you probably get along better with someone who also has the same traits and personality styles, such as thinking and intuition. So one question to ask yourself is, are you a sapiophile? Do you value brains over beauty? A sapiophile is the kind of person that is attracted to those who are intelligent, brilliant, and even nerdy. And in fact, the sapiophile may not consider physical appearance to be as important as intellectual personality and intellectual ability. If you're a brain-first sapiophile kind of person, a partner who has less than perfect physical features could still drive you crazy for attraction if they speak eloquently and have deep intelligence and wit. Their raw intelligence is transmuted into sexual attraction in your mind, and you want to love their mind as much as their body. If you resonate with the term sapiophile, you may just be the type of person who will truly enjoy the knowledge seeker as your mate. 
So where do you meet this very fascinating and interesting knowledge seekers? Well, often they're at events, groups, and activities that stimulate their logical and imaginative minds, where intellectual, educated, and cultured people are found. You can find them online or off at wine tastings, chess clubs, music concerts, and clubs, science and science fiction clubs, and activities such as the Star Trek convention or Star Wars conventions. You can also find them at computer clubs and fairs, advanced degrees, single parties, museum exhibitions, jazz and classical music, exotic or antique car shows, used bookstores, history clubs, literature appreciation clubs, and entrepreneur organizations. You can also try large associations, sailing, polo, golf, and tennis clubs, fine import shops, and other places and organizations where they are the leaders in political, charitable, or religious causes. So Jonathan, my producer, I know you mentioned last time you were a meaning seeker, but I'm sure you've come across people like this, the knowledge seekers in your business, or maybe in personal life. What have you come across when you've seen these people? Uh, do you know any brainy and nerdy people that only just talk about technology and gadgets and video games and stuff like that? Oh, uh, <laughs> I guess I have a couple friends. Not not all of them are like that, but I have a couple. I mean, in my uh, group of friends of, you know, I hang, I hang out with a lot of people that do audio production. So some of them are pretty technical and geeky. Yeah, I mean, on the other side of the spectrum, I have like some anime friends that like, they, they dress up on, in their free time. So that's kind of like the, the far extreme of that for sure. But you know, a lot of these so-called nerd and geeks are actually millionaire.com uh, people, you know, Silicon Valley. The biggest example is Iron Man, uh, who uh, is Tony Stark. You know, he's a genius technology, but he's also a very cool guy. So you can have different personality combinations. Now, let's say that you're with or interested in a person who is a knowledge seeker for a dating and romantic relationship. How do you communicate with them? What are some of the texts and tweets and messages that will attract their interest? You want to use communications that stimulate their imagination and logic and that deal with thought-provoking topics like science, politics, law, religion, philosophy, or business. Pretty much anything that fires up their intellect and desire to solve human puzzles and understand how things work. Here are a few sample messages you can send them. You can ask them, have you read any good books lately? Knowledge seekers love to learn it. Many of them still like to read books. They spend a lot of time reading and thinking about things, so they will gladly discuss their intellectual ideas with you. Another fun message would be, I bet I can beat you in, you could say chess, poker, backgammon, or video games. They will be pleasantly surprised when you show your competitive side to your personality. You let them know that you're ready to take them on intellectually, and they will be attracted to you as a result. Or you can send a message that says, I believe, and then tell them about your point of view, whether it's political, social, or scientific. Or you can talk about a critic's view on a book, a movie, or a play, and let the debate begin. By the way, knowledge seekers love debates. It excites them to be with a brainy person who's not afraid to contradict them. You may find them texting or messaging you all night on the fine points of protectionism versus open borders. They'll have a great time engaging your intellect as you engage theirs. And finally, you can use puns and witty wordplay. You can say something like, I'm an optimist, but a pessimist blood type is always B negative. So they'll like that kind of humor. It's witty and biting, and it makes the day for the knowledge seeker. Now, the other important thing is once you get to communicate with them, how do you win their heart? How do you win their romantic affections and develop a relationship with them? The way to their heart, you might have guessed, is through their mind, through their head. The knowledge seeker is attracted to and falls in love with someone who can stimulate their intellect and who shows them that they are competent and knows what they are doing. If you have advanced degrees, for example, specialized knowledge or life accomplishments, make sure you brag about it a little bit to the knowledge seeker. It will attract them. Engage them in deep and theoretical conversations about science, politics, law, religion, philosophy, esoterics, business, or anything else that tickles their fancy. Join them at book signings, seminars, talks, and workshops where they can expand their expertise and gain knowledge. Also show them that you can compete in arguments and intellectual discussions without being too sensitive when they throw in some sarcastic or barbed remarks. Show them that you're not a conversational pushover and you can joke aggressively with them. Also, don't try to overwhelm them with your feelings. Put on your logical hat. Engage them in debate, but don't take it personally. 
To them, the debate is the fun, and the logic is the game that goes with it. Show them that you're knowledgeable. Don't hide your intelligence. They're not the kind of person who suffers fools gladly. If you impress them with your intellect, they will respect you. If they respect you, they will be attracted to you. Also give them approval for their smarts. They want you to recognize that they are intelligent as well, and they have insight and wisdom to offer. Avoid small talk. Get to the point. Also, don't criticize yourself because they may think less of you or that you're weak. They value strength in their mate. And finally, strike up deep, interesting conversations. You can talk until the wee hours of the night on many topics, and this really stimulates them and makes them excited to be with you as a lover and a mate. And then let's say we're now in the final stage. You're looking at this person as a long-term love partner and perhaps a spouse. What kind of spouse or long-term love partner will they make? The knowledge seeker. First of all, the knowledge seeker values learning, knowledge, and innovation. They're likely to have an advanced degree or professional occupation, maybe engineer, lawyer, or doctor. So they're often individuals that can make good money and they have excellent careers. Or they can be high-flying entrepreneurs or successful business people who can bring your family security by making a fortune with their strategic thinking, leadership skills, and panoramic vision. As a companion, they're intellectually stimulating and thought-provoking. You'll have plenty of deep and interesting conversations with them They also have a spicy wit and sarcastic sense of humor that can keep you laughing for hours as they skewer all the incongruities and hypocrisies of the modern life. Also, the drive for accomplishment and improvement will help ensure that your marriage and children will be an outstanding success. Sometimes a knowledge seeker will be hungry for power. They want to be productive at all times, so they can end up being a workaholic. And of course, that can put a damper on your relationship because they spend a lot of time working and not enough time with you. On the good side, they can be an excellent moneymaker because they're always striving to better themselves and climb the ladder of success. They're strong-willed, determined, and resourceful when it comes to being at the top of their game. Also give them space when they're involved in a deep thinking. When your knowledge seeker is concentrating on a complex problem, leave them alone for a while. They may remain distant until they solve the issue. When they're immersed in solving that puzzle, equation, or problem, it's like they're in their own world. And they're not interested in anything that includes social interaction. But once they figure it out, they will be attainable and engaging like always. Also, knowledge seekers are great critics. They can find the flaws in anything, including your cooking (laughs) or anything about yourself. But don't take it personally. They're not trying to hurt you. They're simply pointing out what they observe. In discussions, they can quickly pinpoint the logical fallacy of what you're saying. But again, don't take it personally. It's not against you. They just want to help you correct an error and become better at something. One important thing to keep in mind for a knowledge seeker mate is that they're very independent and they like to be in control. And they don't like to be told what to do or be compelled to behave in a certain socially desirable way. If they start thinking that you're trying to control them or pressure them, they will resent you and resist you. Now, the good news is that if you're a knowledge seeker and you have another knowledge seeker as your partner, you can be the ultimate power couple. You have a lot in common. Both of you like to theorize and debate. Both of you say what you mean, and you appreciate each other's direct, informed, and exacting approach to people and things. Both of you strive for success, power, and accomplishment. The challenge is that, since both of you usually want control and power, you may have a tendency to butt heads. Fortunately, you can work things out by taking turns having your say, or you can wield power in your respective domains. One of you is good at paying bills, the other is a whiz at creating systems for paying them. To be successful in marriage, you need to respect each other's power and abilities. The positive thing is that a knowledge seeker couple doesn't usually require a lot of emotional support systems to perform well. They don't need to acknowledge each other with warm fuzzies as much all the time because they don't need to spend a lot of time trying to make the other one feel loved. They often like to spend long periods of time alone thinking about things. But they're very concerned with productivity and accomplishment. As a power couple, they push each other to be more productive, and they enjoy working together and accomplishing a great deal thanks to their strong task orientation. They're also more likely to say to each other, just get it done and forget the feeling, and they both appreciate that. As a result, they're not likely to drain each other with emotional blackmail. Either you do this, or I don't love you. Because they're both independent and self-sufficient, the knowledge seeker couple can almost live parallel lives. 
they pursue different interests, but then get together when they want to engage each other intellectually, psychologically, and romantically. So let's summarize. What are the pros and cons of marrying or having a long-term relationship with a non-seeker? The positives are they're intelligent, creative, witty, deep, and definitely an original individual. They can help you solve problems in life. They're the ultimate problem solver. And they can bring insight and clarity into the things you worry about. Also, you will enjoy fascinating conversations with them about every topic imaginable, and they will have you laughing hysterically at their witty sarcasm and humorous takes on life and people. Their ideas can change the world and bring financial success and happiness to your family. They are brilliant mates that you and your children can be proud of. On the con side, or challenging side, they can sometimes be oblivious to the emotional and practicalities of life and relationships. They may forget that special occasion or anniversary because they are caught up mentally in some project or vision. They may seem cold and cutting at times. That shirt makes you look 20% fatter. But that's just their way of seeing the world from an analytical and schematic point of view. Nothing personal. They also love sarcasm and biting wit. So you should develop an appreciation for it instead of being hurt by it. So overall, the knowledge seeker can be a great, stimulating, fun, and fascinating conversationalist and partner and mate. They're the mind you go to to provide the answers and solutions to your life problems and challenges. Their love for you will be analytically based in that they will calculate their value and make sure they offer equal value in return to you as your mate, lover, and companion. Although they may appear eccentric to some, you will find much to love in this brilliant, thought-provoking mate who can solve the puzzles of the universe and motivate you to find your own inner genius. So, love university students, these guy types or love personality styles we're talking about are very unique and special. For example, you may be the knowledge seeker yourself, or you may be a meaning seeker, an excitement seeker, or a security seeker. And ideally, as we mentioned earlier, it's good to find someone similar to you. If you're a knowledge seeker, you'll probably be best with someone who is like a knowledge seeker because you share the values of, of intuition and thinking, and you see the world in a very similar way. So, love university students this week. Go out and look at people and prospective mates in terms of their personality. See what they're really like inside. Ask some questions. Observe them. And identify the kind of person that you feel could be the best for you in a long-term relationship. Someone who can be compatible with you as the love of your life. Love your university students. If you want to comment on today's show, if you want to be a guest on a future show, or if you have a show idea, you can reach us at 310-226-8090. Visit us at loveuniversity.love. Or write to us at loveuniversitylove at gmo.com. You can like us and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Love University Podcast or follow us on Twitter at Love Letter U Podcast. You can also download the show on Podbean, Spotify, SoundCloud, and iTunes. And you can pick up a copy of the book Guide Types on Amazon.com, which can help you really identify your ideal personality type for yourself and for your prospective mate. So, till next time, Love University students. Go out in the world and love yourself, others, and a higher nature. And we'll see you next time. Put away your notebooks, your iPads, your phones. Love University is now dismissed. This is Dr. Avila.